The great thing about James Roby is, and we said this before on this program, is you don't often notice him because he just does his job. Um, he's been a consistently good player for 500 games. And you can't, you can't evaluate a player who just does, does what they're supposed to do uh, and consistently is a, a score and save seven, eight, nine out of 10 player every week. And that's what James Roby is. And I think the great thing for uh, for Saints is they, they appear to have his replacement learning under him at the moment. So, And, and they're going to have to put another statue up. Aren't they? they can't not have well, another statue up there. Uh, I mean, the, the, the two amazing facts is that, uh, you know, St. Helens have had, what, two number nines over 30 years? I mean, that is ridiculous. Um, Rumours that because he's playing so well and um, he's making such an impact that he may be tempted to play for England in the World Cup, even though he announced his, his international retirement. Well, again, with Josh Hodgson likely to be out because uh, he's had reconstruction surgery on his knee. Um, who wouldn't want James Roby in that England squad? And who knows? Uh, would he go out having played in a World Cup? Could he be tempted to have just one more year? <laughs> From what I saw on uh, on last Friday night, he, he is uh, still the epitome of of every hooker. Um, you know, he has all the qualities. He reads the game magnificently. He runs out of dummy half on Friday night work. We're, we're pinpoint. You know, he, he just times when to do it to perfection. Um, he can play at loose forward when Lossett comes on if he needs to. Um, I, I think you're right. You know, th there are certain players who we've seen throughout our careers that because they are eight or nine out of ten every week, that's the expectation. So you only either notice them when they score 12 tries and they're a 10 or they you know, miss a tackle and they're a seven. Um, so he gets taken for granted, but um, you know, doesn't want any fuss. Didn't really want to be interviewed about his 500th game. Let everybody else speak about how important he was. Um, j just, just a magnificent ambassador for the sport and a wonderful athlete. And and the guy that every St Helens player talks about as being the lead in training. And if he's still doing that at the age of four hundred and two, that's it's just amazing. I know. Um, I can't remember who said it on TV last week. The, the, the key uh, as a coach is to move players on before they are uh, not as useful as they were. But it would be very hard for Mr. Wolf and Mr. McManus and everyone involved at St. Helens to not want to keep James Roby around for another year if he wanted to go around for another year. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I don't know what he's got he's planned for the for, for his future life outside of rugby. Um, I, I suspect he is just so dedicated to the sport um, that he probably hasn't had too much time to plan what he'll do when he isn't playing anymore. I, I don't know if he's the kind of player that would want to become a coach. Um, I suspect he could. His knowledge of the game is is imperious, um, but it's not for everybody. So, yeah, if, if he was to be fit and well and able to do another year, it'd be interesting because clearly his replacement, as you say, is already bought. Um, but if he, wanted to, if, if he wanted to carry on, you wouldn't stop him, would you? Uh, Kobe Poaching tweeted, and I retweeted it on our account. Do you think we did enough to, to celebrate the facts? Because that's a 500 games in, in this era is a hell of an achievement. Well, I think there's two things with that. He's only the fourth St. Helens player uh, to achieve that aim. And, and the other three were in an era where you played a lot more matches. So that's not just a Super League thing. That is historically across one of the, the, the most famous and well-established clubs. I think the other thing is... I believe Kevin Sinfield's Super League record of appearances is 521. So all being well, James Roby is going to break that this year. If we don't make a huge deal about that, then again, we, we talk a lot about stories and telling players stories. He may be reluctant. We need to shout it from the rooftops. Um, I, I don't think we did. I, you know, somebody gave him a shirt, didn't they, out of the crowd with <laughs> 500 on the back, and he was pictured with that. Yeah, that's that's not enough. Yeah, well, Wigan sent a tweet saying, so, you know, they'll probably get a bottle of uh, scotch next time he's at uh, the DW. I don't know where the game is on uh, Good Friday, but well, it's at Nosey it's, it's, it's Road, I was going to say. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it's not, Don't go on Nosey Road. Don't go there. The game won't be on. Um, it, it's, not, it's not in someone's back garden. 